Let's talk, Madam Wall. For a monster who's on the same level of being as cruel and horrible as Rita, this is crazy. One would think she might be a bit more ambitious if she had her own shrine and everything. Also, with the power of the elements at her disposal and a crown jewel that can teleport others to another dimension where she is nearly invincible? It's kind of a wonder how she lost this fight. I mean, with her braids that she uses like chains to whip across the air and send electric shocks, it's a very deadly combination. And again, using the power of the wind, she can move fast enough that it's almost considered teleportation. And even if she's outside of her own dimension, she can send powerful gusts of wind and have the rangers on the ropes. I'd have to say though, that her biggest blunder was thinking that her dimension was impervious to breakouts. Though, I'd say the real screw up was grabbing a random girl instead of the Power Rangers. I have to say that this though, this fell on Rita's head. Come on Rita, you have a telescope that allows you to spy on the Power Rangers even through a building. You've seen their faces and you know who they are and you can see anywhere they go. And you couldn't give your lackey a description of the five kids she's supposed to grab?